Hi, Caroline, the original dragon lady here. Thought it was about time I did another video because I've not done one for ages. So this time I'm going to be talking about dragon energy and how you know if you've got dragon with you because the two are very, very linked. So first of all, dragon energy is very different to the other spiritual energies that we're used to working with. So angelic, ascended masters, spirit guides, that type of thing. Dragon energy is, has, a much, has a denser feel to it, a heavier feel to it. Um, it's the only way I can describe it. I can't find a, another way or another set of words for it. People have tried describing it to me and they struggle the same as I do. There is a, all, I can, all I can say is it's definitely a denser, heavier sort of vibration, if you like. The spirit guides and angels are much, much lighter and finer. Dragons have a, a denseness. And I guess that's partly due to their power. Now, you can feel a bit woozy if you're new to dragon and start working with dragon for any length of time. So there's a real need to be grounded. I, I thought that I, I think, I always thought I was fairly grounded until I started working with dragon. And they would not knock me sideways. I could feel a bit bit wobbly for sometimes a you know, sort of half an hour to, to a couple of days, depending on what top, type of work I had been doing with them. And yeah, there's nothing worse than feeling a bit more for a few days, or even though no, a few hours. So there is if before you start working with dragon, you need to double down on your grounding that because that's really important for 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 being able to hold their energy and actually work with them and sit in their space for any length of time and i've often wondered why is their energy so different to us and to be fair it has lightened considerably to the early days either that or i've got used to it but i think actually in fairness it has lightened so that's sort of one point um I suppose their energy is heavier because they're not used to working with us as human doings. They are, you know, we've not had any contact with dragons for, oh, I, I don't know how many years, uh, centuries, probably more than centuries. And probably not in this, in this galaxy either. We've probably been in different dimensions or, or whatever, but actually to be in this dimension of earth, we probably haven't encountered them. So their energy does feel very, very different to other energies that we're used to working with. So that's sort of po sort of point one. What else do I need to talk to you about? Um, how do you know if you've got dragon energy with you? Well, apart from this heaviness, I may be feeling a bit wobbly. The other thing is that dragons, I suppose it's about knowing it. if you're clairvoyant, it's fairly easy. If you're claircog claircognant, mm, that's much tougher. If you're clairaudient, it's relatively easy in comparison to you know, being cla uh, claircognant. So clairvoyant, clear seeing. If you see dragon, you see dragon. That's easy peasy. You've got a dragon there. That's it. You know you've got dragon. If you're clairaudient, of course you hear, so it's clear hearing. Now, dragons have a very particular way of speaking it's very short it's very clipped and it's very direct so if you have that kind of language coming through that's very very straightforward and very short sentences there's a fair chance you've got dragon with you they tend to shoot from the hip they don't beat about the bush and they're in no way fluffy they are so direct. I thought I was direct. <laughs> dragons haven't got, have not got a patch on dragons. They're much more direct than me. So that will be another way that you know you've got dragons with you is there that the type of language that they use and the way they use it because it's very short sentences. So you've got the, the denseness of energy or the heaviness of energy. You've got the very direct way of speaking. And um, I had a message from somebody the other day. Are dragons really sweary? <laughs> they can be. They, uh, I, I guess it depends on who we are as people. And if we don't swear, then they won't swear. Um, so they can be a bit sweary. So don't be surprised if you, if you get you know, <laughs> the odd swear word slipping in uh, from your dragons. When I was channeling the oracle cards, 
there was times I had to get them to tone it down a little bit because their messages were too direct and that I didn't want to scare the pants off people you know there's there's direct and there's being a bit too direct so you can ask them to, to tone it down a little bit what else there's there's all, all kinds of things it's not every dragon is different it's all got their own nuances so you know the heaviness of energy the directness now other people say about they get you know if you're clairvoyant you get given a dragon's egg or you have a young dragon with you that's fairly that's that's seems to be fairly commonplace i've never experienced young dragons or or dragon eggs i've always worked with dragons that seem to be much much older and have a a, a much longer history to them so i do wonder <clears throat> if the younger dragons are coming in to show us something about ourselves because they cause complete chaos it's like having a huge puppy <laughs> and you, you need a whip in the chair to control them so there's a real need for boundaries to come in when you've got if you're working with a young dragon or you've got a young dragon to you know got a younger dragon to hatch maybe it's looking at where do you need to self-nurture so they can be quite symbolic so there's all those kinds of things to consider when working with dragon and it's and certainly up until very recently, dragons seem to choose you rather than you choose dragon. That's, gra that's gradually changing now. But people say, oh, I've had somebody had a dragon appear or a dragon egg or a young dragon. You know, what does it mean? Well, it means that they want to work with you. Now people are getting used to the idea and sort of words spreading out that dragons are a natural thing as an energy being and they're sort of choosing to work with dragon they want to know more about dragon so gradually the shift is, is changing over but again on the, you know it was, it was very common for people to suddenly go i've got a dragon here what's that all about oh don't know if i like that and that's partly because of their power their energy and everything else so it's really this is just literally a quick one to pop on and say hi and I haven't forgotten about you all and to just talk about dragon energy. So the big one with dragon energy, if you do want to start working with dragon, is you need to double down on your grounding. It is absolutely, it's absolutely key. Because if they do come in with a whoosh, a real whoosh, they can leave you feeling a bit wobbly. So you know, it's need to be, you need to be grounded, you need to be centered, you need to be very, very present when working with dragon. And I'm, I'm doing courses and things on that kind of stuff. I'm currently running a four week course on dragons beside you. So you can catch me on my Facebook page where I often talk about this kind of thing. There's you know my website and my Facebook page and whatever. There are workshops and, and what, what not going on. And so I teach all about, you know, all of my work, nearly all of my work is dragon based. So if you want to find out more, then find me on my, on my Facebook page, which is Caroline, the original dragon lady, or my website which is uh, carolinemitchell.info and obviously here on youtube where there'll be other videos going up as well i've got time so right big love great to see you all hope you enjoyed it love to know what your comments and thoughts are and i will catch you next time cheers bye for now bye